Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Tuesday, December 7, 2010. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer and columnist for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Tuesday paper. For the eighth consecutive year, Brown County residents will gather Tuesday for a Christmas candlelight service to reflect on the sacrifices made by U.S. military personnel and their families. A special emphasis will be made on local service men and women who are serving at home and overseas. The names of almost 200 military personnel with a Brown County connection will be read at the service, which will begin at 6 p.m. at the Margaret and Stuart Coleman Plaza in front of the Depot Civic and Cultural Center. Also in our Tuesday paper, we'll begin a series of Spirit of Christmas stories. We're asking readers to share their kind act experiences. Brown County Commissioners approved a redirection of grant funds to fulfill the requirements of a Federal Violence Against Women Act. Keith Madole, who's directed the task force since last spring, has had to resign because of health issues. Brownwood Regional Medical Center Infection Control and Employee Health Director Shannon Young De La Cruz has been appointed to the Texas Society of Infection Control and Prevention Board. The Brownwood Lions offense could be faced with an interesting dilemma during Friday night's Division II 3A state semifinal showdown against the Carthage Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have beat some impressive teams and are two-time defending state champs, but their defense has struggled mightily against the running game in their two losses. Read Derek Stuckley's story on our Tuesday sports page. You'll get all these stories and more in our Tuesday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at brownwoodbulletin.com.